In this video, I'm going to provide a little bit more background regarding whenever you once you've set up your Epic game account and actually going through and installing the Unreal Game Engine. Depending on which version you want to work with will depend on which version you select. Now, once you make your game account as far as either online through the website or you can do it directly in uh, the Epic Game Launcher here, you can see that you can actually sign up down at the bottom here. I do want to give a little bit of background. As you can see, uh, Epic loves to work with other uh, companies as well, as far as you know, Steam, Gmail, things like that. This is just a personal preference and suggestion. I've never been a fan of the idea of having Epic or any of my elements, uh, as far as my accounts are concerned, linked into one another. So I actually went with and made my own Epic Games account. Now, one thing to point out to everybody to be cautious of is depending on the username and ID that you choose, that will be what is presented in games if you choose to play things like Rocket League or Fortnite. So for instance here, like my user uh, account here is, let me go ahead and log in. You can change the username and password at a later point in time. But as you will see here, like I have, you know, R DuPont CCAC for Community College of Allegheny County. If I were to log into Fortnite or anything like that, um, that's the name that would appear over my head. So just something to be aware of. Now, when you log in here, it depends on how you have the account set up as far as whenever you do the first login. Because I work so frequently with the Unreal Engine, over on the left hand side, it defaults to Unreal Engine for me. But I've seen folks, whenever they log in for the first time, it might actually default you over on the left-hand side navigation here and take you to the store right out of the gate. So you also have a library area that shows all of the games that you have access to, either that you've downloaded for free or purchased. The big thing that we're going to be focusing on, though, is the Unreal Engine. The Unreal Engine brings up its own area here, but also to you want to notice across the top here, you have a subset of menu items. So the first thing you're going to want to do is while you are on the UE4 here, you do have a section called library. As you continue to work in the Unreal Game Engine, your library will continue to grow. You can see in a later video where I'll talk more about your vault and also too as far as different projects. The one thing I want to draw your attention to in this video, however, is up at the top under engine versions. As you can see, I actually have two engines installed on my computer. Depending on your space, this is something you could consider doing. I've been working in the early access of 5.0 just to see what's out there and how it's evolving. However, I strongly encourage folks that if you're taking a class or for instructors who are starting out and this is your first time teaching Unreal, I would stick to, I would stay away from anything early access and I would stick to uh, previous versions here. So for instance, at the time of recording this, the most recent standard release is 4.27.2. At any point in time, however, up at the top here next to engine version, you can actually hit the plus symbol and you can go through and actually choose a version that you would like to work with. I rarely, if ever, need to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the little X up in the corner. But then once you choose your version, it'll allow you, you can hit the install button. Unreal or Epic's going to work for a little bit to do the install, and then you'll be ready to launch your game engine. The first launch normally can take a little bit of time, but overall, once you've done that, you're ready to go. Also too, it may ask you where do you want to install. You can change that location as well. But that's kind of the overview as far as how you can choose your engine version, how you can navigate the Epic Game Launcher, and get to your content.